how could anybody deny the truth in this video? This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. Commented link is in the description section. I almost said comment in the description section. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Text Tatum to 53445. Text Tatum to 53445. Also download the podcast, the B Tatum Show podcast on all podcasts and platforms. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I made this video uh, yesterday. Well, at least we, we cut it yesterday. This was one, one part of one of my speeches at Dream City Church here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I do speak at churches across the country, and uh, this is just one of many. But this was an incredible concept that I believe God put on my heart. And it transcends religion. It transcends I would say, the, religi the religiosity of stuff. It doesn't transcend the re religion of believing in Christ, but it transcends uh, the over overt religious behavior. It transcends race, political party. Every single person, I believe, that believe in God for sure, should be able to get behind this message. I'm gonna play it for you, and then I'm gonna show you the comments, all right? So without further ado, roll the doggone film. B. Tatum, take it away. We're white privilege. You know why that bothers me? That is a attack on who I am. To say that I work hard and do things and because somebody else has another skin color, somehow they're gonna benefit or do better than me. That's a lie from the pit of hell. But that's not the most important, that's just, that's just me talking. The most important of that word is that you're spitting in the face of God. How dare you think that a man or a woman or melanin can have a privilege over what God can do in your life? I, I'm not sure what God anybody in here serves. But the God I serve can overcome anything. There is no color in the kingdom of God. All right, y'all heard that. I know some of you guys are inspired. I, I know, I know. I'm inspired when I just listen to it because it's true. It's facts, especially if you're a Christian. Now, if you ain't a Christian, I don't know what to tell you. It's still true, but you can draw from wherever you want to draw from. If you're a Christian, there ain't no way in the world you could be mad at what I said in this video. There is absolutely no way in the world. There's no way in the world you're going to tell me that it's God is on your side and, and, and he, he's in your corner and God is, is responsible for your life. And you pray to this God that created all the heavens and the earth. And somehow some white person is going to say, you can't have this job. God, y'all can't have this job. Good luck. And God is going to say, dang. Yeah, you white, so I guess that trump everything I can do in somebody's life. I have no power against the white man. It's just, it's just ignorant. Because God will put opportunities, create opportunities for you. And if the person at this place don't want you to work there because you black or because you're a minority or they're racist against you, God ain't never intended for you to work for them anyway. He got another person over here that you're going to work with or work for that's going to propel you to the future he already been designed you for. Ain't no privilege set in place that can distract or retract what God has planned for you. It's not going to happen unless God don't have no powers. And if you believe God don't have no powers, then you ain't a Christian. I mean, I don't know how that they both go together. So regardless, 900,000, I'm exaggerating, but 99.9% .9 of all the comments were, were excellent from black, white, you name it. They're excellent. People are, I got, you know, God, it's a great word, whatever. But you have a couple people that's like, your audience was 90% white. Some other, some other girl on here, which brain is, 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 is probably not operating correctly. Um, says, Oh, this ain't it. You know, it, it just it, 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 it what, what it did to me was it made me feel like how could people be so brainwashed and subjugated to victimhood? I just don't understand. So this person went back and forth. Of course, my wife jumped in here. But you always talking bad about black people, Brandon. You all you do is bash black people. It, it's just it's like what does that got to do with how? Do, what does this got to do with black people? In a negative sense, I'm saying that God can overcome 
or, or put you in a position to overcome anything in life, whether you black or not. But that's oh, you that's bad for black people. Let me just show y'all real quick. And this is what I was talking to my wife yesterday about. So I'll show y'all real quick the things that I post. Because people get on this soapboxing. You are always talking bad about black people. I mean, this ain't got nothing to do with black people. This is me and my wife on Valentine's Day. This is the speech I just showed you. Me and uh, 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 Bryson raced in a 40-yard dash. I don't want to show y'all that. Y'all got to go to my Instagram to watch that. Uh, I was getting it, though. Me and Bryson raced a 40-yard dash. They have nothing to do with something negative against black people. This is a school mass mandate. They have nothing to do with anything negative about black people. This is actually a post admiring and supporting black leaders in our country. This has nothing to do with black people. Uh, this speech had nothing to do with black people. It's the, it was the Trump rally. Adele had nothing to do with black people. This was five police officers getting shot. Adele, this has something to do with it, with an idiotic dude that suing the NFL for discrimination or, 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 or lack of diversity, yet his whole uh, uh, legal team ain't got a single black person on it. Matter of fact, 99% of them are white. This is a live stream with our brothers on here. This is Joe Biden. Black Lives Matter legitimately should be criticized for this because they don't, we, you know, they cannot account for $60 million of donations. This was me actually acknowledging that the problem is the white liberal, not the African-American person, because all African-American people in here made sense. The liberal didn't this ain't, this ain't had nothing to do with black people. This didn't. This is this is this is a positive for black people at a Blexit event, which is a black organization, um, which we don't discriminate against people. If you want to help with the inner city, you can get involved. You know, you know, you can say this was, but Joe Rogan wasn't. Uh, this was, but it's not necessarily because he's black. It's because he said a racial slur against white people, white person. You know, this is the fun video I made. White person, Republican, Democrat, Whoopi Goldberg had nothing to do with a race, had everything to do with the fact that she said the Holocaust wasn't about race. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I talk about so much other stuff other than just black people. You know what I'm saying? This had nothing to do with it. This had nothing, this had nothing to do with it. This has nothing to do with it. This, this has something to do with Joe Biden specifically this this is a positive of Charlemagne the guy talking about trump this is another brother that i gave credit to that's talking about uh policing this is another brother i gave credit to i said he the realest brother in planet earth he a black dude okay i can go down the list what comment in the comment section what made people so upset when i say things like black people are not oppressed in America. You could be whatever you want to be. Pursue excellence. Believe in God and you can excel. And I'm a living example. And so are a lot of other people that I know. Why do people get so upset? Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.